What's up guys, welcome back to another manga haul video. Sorry I haven't been back for a while, I've been busy with uni. But now I'm going to get into my was it March haul. And to start off, I got one book from One Piece Books, which is The Rising of the Shield Hero, Volume 4. It's a really fun story about this bloke here who gets caught in another world. People might say it's generic, but I think it's good. Next up, we've got some Tokyo Pop books, which is Samurai Champloo, Volume 1, and Volume 2, which I got off eBay for a very nice price. Next up, we're moving on to the vertical pickups, with Arjun Demi Human, Volume 6. Love this story about immortals. Next up, we got Nichi Cho. My Ordinary Life, Volume 3. Really funny. Next up, a series that everyone says is a bit mad, but I thought I'd give it a go. The Flowers of Evil, Volume 1. There we go. Next up, we've got Mysterious Girlfriend X, Volume 2. It's a very odd relationship between these two, but it's really funny. Next up, we have the final volume of Prophecy, Volume 3. I kind of think of it as a cyber version of Death Note, but not really. But it's still good. Next up, we have To the Abandoned Sacred Beasts, Volume 4. Really enjoying this series about soldiers, civil war, and monsters. Next up, we move into one volume from Dark Horse, which is Volume 1 of planets I've heard really good things it's a must-have for your collection so I thought I'd give it a go as well next up we've got the seven seas pickups which I'll start with there's a demon lord on the floor I haven't read this yet but it looks like it's gonna be an interesting read hopefully it is next up we have volume three of battle rabbits I'm enjoying this it's very Odd, but fun, so I hope it keeps going like that. Next up, a very interesting series, much like Ancient Magus Bride, but a bit different. Volume 1 of The Girl from the Other Side. A very interesting setup for a universe that could be quite good. Next up, we have Volume 4 of Hagony, I Don't Have Many Friends. Really light-hearted, fun, keeps going like that. Next up we have Mushuko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Volume 3. It's a generic story about someone being reincarnated, but it's still a lot of fun to read, so I keep buying. Next up we have Volume 2 of Citrus. Everyone seems to see this as the go-to Yuri series, so I thought I'd give it a go as well and continue reading. Next up we have Omnibus Volume 5 and 6 of I Don't Like You At All, Big Brother. It's uh, interesting, a bit odd, but still interesting. Next up, we have Volume 10 of Monster Moo Soon, A Reader Life with Monster Girls. If you love Monster Girl series, then this is probably the biggest one to have. Next up, we have Volume 5 of Dragonar Academy. I know this series may not be for everyone, but I'm still enjoying it all the same, so there's Volume 5. And then the last volume for Seven Seas is Volume 4 of The Ancient Magus Bride. This story is so good, and these two main characters are just the best, so yeah. Next up, we have the Yem Press pickups, which I'll start with Volume 7 of Akami Gakil. I know everyone doesn't really favour the anime, but the manga is still just as good, I think. Then we have Volume 5 of Blood Lad. Love this series. So fun. Next up, we have Volume 7 of Trinity 7. This point, I think it's past where the first series of the anime finished, so I think it's going to go into new story, hopefully. That'll be good. Next up, we have Volume 3 of Corpse Party Blood Covered. 
it's fun. I, I've seen the gameplay of the, of the game, which is quite creepy. This is on the same level, I'd say. So, give it a go if you like that. Then next up, we have Volume 3 of Black Bullet. Interesting series about creatures and cursed children. It's a good read. We have a new title here from last month, which is Volume 1 of Smoking Parade. Very creepy by the uh, writer of Dead Man Wonderland, so you know it's going to be fun and scary at the same time. Next up, we have five volumes from Soul Eater, starting off with Volume 7, 8, 9, Volume 10, and Volume 11. And I'm loving Soul Eater, it's such a good series. Next up, we have Volume 3 of Batum, very survival, Hunger Games-ish, Battle Royale. If you love those, then you'll love that. Next up, we have Volume 4 of Triage This is, uh, if you like the uh, High School of the Dead that I've got here, you'll like this because it's from the same, uh, what's the word, artist or whatever. So you'll like that, if you like that. Next up, we have Watamote Volume 3, or no matter how you, I look at it, it's your guys' fault I'm not popular. Wow, that is a long title. Still a fun series. Next up, we have Black Butler Volume 2. I think I'm going to enjoy this series, as I've read the first volume, and I can't wait to read more. <laughs> Next up, we have Volume 2 of Konosuba, God's Blessing on This Wonderful World. Series 2 just finished, and I'm looking forward to reading this, and the light novel as well, which I hope to be getting soon. Next up, we have Volume 7 of High School DxD. If you love horror anime, or horror manga, this is a classic. Right, up next, I'm going to be moving on to Kodansha Pickups. Starting off with a title that a few YouTubers got over the past month, which is Volume 1 of Cells at Work. The concept alone was interesting about red blood cells, white blood cells, and how they all go about their daily life. Who doesn't find that to sound interesting at least? Next up we have five volumes from Attack on Titan, starting with volume 12, volume 13, volume 14, volume 15 and finally the special edition version of volume 16 which comes with these playing cards I won't bother getting it out now because it'll just be a complete hassle but if you'd like to have a look at it I will leave a picture maybe there we go okay next up we have the second omnibus volume of Love Hina this is the classic of classic harem manga it's really good, enjoying it. Next up, we have Volume 3 of Noragami Stray God. Love this series. Really, not depressing, but fun at the same time. So, yeah. Next up, we have Volume 4 of UQ Holder. I heard recently this is getting an anime. I'm really looking forward to that. Who doesn't love immortals and vampires? Next up, we have Volume 6 of Fairy Tale. Loving this. Who doesn't love Fairy Tale? One of the big ones. Next up, we have Volume 2 of Interviews with Monster Girls with I think it's Machi on the front. Really fun, really light hearted, not slice of life. And then finally, for Kadansha, we have Your Lie in April Volume 2. Unfortunately, I know how this ends, so it's kind of a bummer that I do, but I'm still going to enjoy reading through it. And then finally we have the Viz Media pickup, starting off with five volumes from Dead Man Wonderland. Wait, is it five? Yeah, five. Volume eight. Volume nine. Volume ten. I would have volume eleven, but it hasn't arrived in the post yet. But until that happens, I've still got volume twelve. 
and volume 13 to finish up the series and I'm really looking forward to finishing that off because Demo Wonderland is one of the first anime and manga I've started. Then next up we have the volume 3 of the perfect editions of Monster. This series is just amazing. Monster is a classic by, what's his name, uh, Nyoki Irasawa, just great, <laughs> you, can't, you can't beat it, it's just that good. Next up we have volume 3 of Gintama, I know there's about 20 odd volumes in English but Viz stopped so that's kind of a bummer, hopefully they start up again. Now we have volume 2 of Platinum End, this is the, uh, the two creators of uh, Death Note. So if you like that, this is the kind of thing you'll probably enjoy as well. Next up, we have the Viz Big Volume 3 of Vagabond. This series is just like Monster. It's just amazing. Anyone that loves good manga, read that. Then next up, we have Volume 12 of Food Wars. Cooking, cooking battles, just great. Then next up, we have Volume 2 of My Love Story. I never thought I'd get into a shoujo manga, but this this changes it. I think it's one of the better ones. Then next up, we have Haikyuu, Volume 2. I've seen all the series of anime, and I'm just trying to catch up now. I think there's about 8 or 9 volumes out, so I'll try and catch up. Next up, we have Volume 9 of Doro He Doro. I love this series. The artwork is par none one of the best out there, so give it a go. Next up, we have a new series, Volume 1, D. Grey Man. I know the Omnibus volumes are out, but I thought I'd give it a go in single volumes since I like to have the nice collection of spines. Next up, we have another Nyoki Urasawa work, which is 20th Century Boys, Volume 4. I've got the next five volumes up to Volume 9 ordered, so hopefully I'll be able to get more of them soon. And then we've got Volume 6 of Hunter Hunter, or Hunter x Hunter, whatever way you say it. I love the story, but as everyone knows, the artwork isn't the best. Still good. And then to finish all this up, we have some JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Battle Tendency, starting off with Volume 1. Volume 2. Volume 3, the smaller volume. And finally, with cars on the front, volume four. And that's Battle Tendency finished. Then I'm gonna move on to Stardust Crusaders, hopefully next month, and that'll be even better. Okay, everyone, so that's all finished. That's all, I think, about 70 volumes altogether. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything you'd like to say, leave it in the comments, like any recommendations or videos you'd like to see. Uh, yeah, make sure to leave them, and I'll see you all next time.